Now let's take a look at this figure at 21-19 and we're dealing with non-incentive type equipment. Of course if you want to define this equipment, uh, the components and the circuitry and so forth, just go with article 100 part 3 and uh, equipment uh, components and circuitry is defined there. But if you want to select it to use in a class 1 division 2 area, and of course you know that's the only place that a non-incentive type circuit uh, could be used. And again, if you go over to chapter 4 in Stockup's Electrical Design Book, Volume 1, you know you can pick up uh, recommended uh, uh, requirements, uh, you know, such as it's recommended that the circuitry be light yellow uh, identified uh, so that a uh, person coming in to a facility, uh, like a third party contractor in some cases, that uh, uh, intrinsically say circuits are identified light blue. Uh, so light yellow is recommended at this period of time uh, for uh, non incentive circuitry. And then notice that uh, the equipment, 500.7F, uh, if you want to select it, the components is uh, 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 500 uh, dot uh, G, I believe it is. And then if you wanted to get into the circuitry, I believe that's uh, 500 dot 7 H. Uh, but you can find that information uh, in uh, uh, F, G, and H. Uh, as you check out the equipment, uh, the components, and, and so forth. But now notice that non-incentive circuitry can only uh, be used in a Class 1 Division 2 location. And uh, the wiring, uh, we, we get a lot of questions here. James and I get quite a few uh, questions about the circuitry. Can I use any uh, type of wiring? Uh, for non incentive Yes, go over to 501.10B as in boy 3. And there it tells you that you can use any of the general purpose uh, wiring methods of, of uh, you know, of the 300 series. And uh, you do not need seals. But the uh, only thing that's important here, now I'm talking about, you know, where you're using the cables and so forth. Uh, the important thing, you can't damage it in any way. It doesn't have a barrier like intrinsically safe. So you can't damage the wiring in any way or it could it could produce an arc or spark. That would be dangerous to an explosive mixture. Uh, so we want to make sure, you know, for example, you couldn't be using a screwdriver and uh, accidentally be tightening a, a screw or something and damage the device you know, drive a screwdriver through it where an arc could develop. So that's why they say it's under, to be used under normal operating conditions, but never in an abnormal type condition. And note, uh, we suggest you look, start with that figure 4-30, right in that area, and uh, look at all those figures that pertain to uh, intrinsically safe equipment. A lot of uh, areas where this equipment is used is like 501.105. It, it, it's used in there uh, in that area for uh, instruments, meters, relays, and then you could go over to 501.150 and non-incentive is addressed there under certain conditions and can be used there. We have uh, hermetically sealed contacts. Uh, you have all immersion type contacts. Well, we can use a class one, division two type equipment for signaling, alarm, control, that kind of thing in 501.150. So two sections that people use this uh, type of system quite a bit is outlined in 501.105 and 501.150. And that's what this uh, figure is illustrating to the user of the NEC.